I probably played my worst since I was a rookie. Oh, dating sa women's volleyball, that was a story. Volleyball wasn't really um, a very big thin thing then. Although when I got into La Salle, slowly we're making a name for ourselves. Siguro one of the highlights, normal highlights, would be pagka may game is yung mga bashers. Before, live ang mga bashers mo. Wala naman kami huge crowd eh. So lahat ng nanonood sa amin literally is court side. So kung meron kang basher, rinig na rinig mo very loud and clear lahat ng sinasabi niya habang naglalaro. It was really blood, sweat, and tears for the entire team kasi naging struggle din for us. We had to had changes in sa position. Minsan, wala kaming gym para mag-training. Kasama dun sa Amazon training namin dati kay Coach Ramil is syempre ang loading. Marami kami exercises sa loading na you really have to do with partners eh. And before, swerte ka pag yung partner mo is magaan, mas maliit sa'yo, kasi marami kami mga loading na yung kailangan mo talagang buhatin o pasanin yung partner mo. But I was really very thankful because at least that made me part of the team that also made history for La Salle. After celebrating from our hometowns, Tito Bomboy, one of our team managers, was talking to us. Me, Kiana, and Ate Joy. He told us that Tita Tere, Coach Emil's wife, was messaging him na Coach Emil was feeling down during the break kasi gumraduate na daw kami tatlo. Siyempre na sad kami hearing about that. So, we tried cheering him up sa training. Nung dumating yung mga senior high, he was so excited na to teach these young players. He always wanted to teach kids talaga. Like, pag nag-retire daw siya, gusto niyang mag uh, magtayo ng volleyball clinic para sa mga bata. Dahil may two years preparation pa yung mga bagets, yung mga senior high before coming to college, sobrang naging ganado si coach na turuan sila ng basics. He found a new purpose in his coaching career. I have three championship titles. Tapat isa lang ang meron ako doon. Noong 2005, pabalik pa lang ako ulit ng team because I got pregnant. Nagmamakaawa ako kay Coach Ramil to the point na sinusundan ko siya sa jeep. So, umiiyak-iyak ako. Nagmamakaawa ako para makabalik ako sa team. Gusto ko pa maglaro. Scholarship, makagraduate. Siguro na-realize si Coach Ramil na nakakahiya. At pumayag na siya na mag-uusap kami at bibigyan niya ako ng chance na makabalik sa team. So, yung 2005 na yon Blessing talaga yon kasi binigyan ako ng second chance ni Coach Ramil. Season 78. Kasi there was a time na naiyak ako sa harap ng team. Hindi naman ako umiyak kahit saan. Lalo na sa tukos sa team. Eh, yun sana yung year of redemption namin. Kasi nga, talo kami ng Ateneo na dalawang beses ng previous season. Frustrated na lahat. Pero worth it din naman sa dulo yung pag-aya ko na yun kasi yung kiso na yun, nabalik naman namin yung championship sa Lasal. Another thing that the fans don't know about is that before coming into my last and final year, I was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism. So one training day, while we do our normal warm-up, five rounds jogging around the court, I was behind the line and I can hardly finish two rounds because I can't breathe and I feel so weak. So coach called my attention. He told me that there's something wrong. So he asked me to leave the practice immediately and have myself checked. Buti na lang napansin talaga ni coach. If not, hindi ko hindi ako magpapa-check up. So I went to the doctor and found out that I've lost 15 pounds. I was told to rest for at least a month with medication and upon hearing those words, the first thing that comes to my mind was, "Patay paano ko to sasabihin kay coach Ramil?" To cut the story short, Miraculously, with lots of prayer and support from the family, friends, and the DLSE community, I got well in time for the tournament. 
You know, there are many bits and pieces of stories like this. It created a big impact on the team. It is very easy to make a strong team. You work hard, but when they are well bonded, they become unstoppable. One of the things that fans don't know, during season 71, yeah, you see so na nag start kami mag dorm lahat. Everyone in the team, even the coaches, also our physical therapist, naka dorm din yan. Jan nag start na monitor na lahat ni coach nung galaw namin. As in, every breakfast, lunch, dinner. Magkakasama kami. After that, meron pa kami prayer sa baba ng dorm bago kami maghiwa-hiwalay. There are times na lalo na pag finals week or midterms, we really need to leave the dorm to go to the computer shop to finish our papers, to do some research, and magugulat talaga kami pag baba namin ang dorm namin ang si Coach Ramil. Lagot ka kung hindi ka nagpaalam prior to that. Kasi iisipin ni Coach Ramil na hala ikaw tumatakas ka ha. Bakit ganito oras na lalabas ka pa? So after ng prayer meeting, bago kami umakit na room, magpaalam na kami kay Coach Ramil kung ano yung plano namin or kailangan ba namin lumabas ng gaming yun. Kasi kung hindi ka nagpaalam, good luck sa training. Season 79, first round, ready na akong i-let go yung volleyball kasi parang feeling ko pinapahiya ko ng sobra yung sarili ko. Ang nagbablock sa akin panahon na yon hindi na mga players, kung hindi ang coaching staff. Imagine nyo si Coach Ramil yung magbablock sa'yo. Parang tinataas nila yung kamay niya, pero nagbablock niya ako, guys. Binigyan ako ng techniques, bagong techniques nila Coach Ramil. Dumating sa point na nakatanggap ako ng first high five ni Coach Ramil. Yung appear na yon is like batok te Doray na finally Doray, may nagawa ka na, na feeling ko sa sarili ko na achieve ko na yung standard ni Coach Ramil at that moment. Tapos ayun na nga, a champion kami. Our last year going for the three teams. We started that season off, I wasn't really at my healthiest. I wasn't practicing as much. I wasn't expecting to play in my first game, but to my surprise, he started me. We lost that game. And after that, the famous back to the, back to the court um, experience uh, for the Lady Spikers after every loss. That's when Coach Ramil called me on the court by myself and was throwing balls everywhere for seven minutes, almost. Talaga ng jersey number ko pa. That was the most unforgettable experience that I would pick from my college career. Not because it was the hardest, but when we were down 0-2 to two against that game, uh, that championship game versus Ateneo, that was the moment I went back to it. I reminded my teammates that I don't want to have, I don't want to experience that again. That's when we realized that we've given so much into this sport and we weren't gonna throw it away at the championship. Hindi ko alam kung paano kami nakasurvive ni Mama that time. Kinapanan ko talaga yung mukha ko. Thanks, bro.